Good morning. I'm Grant Edwards, music director and organist of First Congregational United Church of Christ in Portland's historic park blocks. For the organ prelude, I'm going to play one of Edward Elgar's variations on an original theme, also known as the Enigma Variations. I'm going to play movement nine, entitled Nimrod. Now, what does Nimrod, the mighty hunter, and morally rebellious king of Babylon have to do with Easter? Nothing. What's more, this guy also has nothing to do with this music. In fact, it's all about resurrection. Edward Elgar was, of course, a highly renowned British composer. He worked during the Victorian era. And who hasn't heard his pomp and circumstance march? Well. Despite his success, he was sadly prone to devastating self-doubt and episodes of melancholy. Once, when Elgar had been so depressed he was about to give up writing music forever, his friend Augustus visited and urged him to continue living and composing. He cited Beethoven, who also suffered similarly, and he began to hum the theme of the second movement of the Patetique Sonata. Well, this visit uh, lifted Elgar's spirits. He regained his courage and he was able to finish his work. You see, his friend's name was Augustus Jaeger. And Jaeger means hunter in German. And so the name of the biblical hunter, Nimrod, became the enigmatic title of this now beloved work. Elgar later explained that the opening bars of Nimrod were made to suggest Beethoven's theme from the Patetik Sonata. Only a hint, not a quotation. Listen, can't you hear it? Right at the beginning. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> 